So this is Carsten Kehoff of Dansensor, who, a company which is involved in modified atmosphere packaging. And Carsten, can you tell me what is modified atmosphere packaging? Modified atmosphere packaging is a way to, uh, to help the uh, food manufacturers uh, resolve their shelf line issues and protect their products from uh, oxygen uh, and also protect them so they will have a much longer shelf life than under packed under normal atmosphere. Okay, so what do you do to um, make it modified? To modify a package you would have to extract the, uh, the gas that is inside the package, which is normally atmospheric air, and then introduce other gases that could be nitrogen, CO2, or even in the case of red meat it could be uh, oxygen as well. And so, um, does this have any effect on the food itself? It doesn't have an effect on the food, only that it protects it without putting additives into the food products. Is there any difference in the taste? There shouldn't be uh, any difference in the taste. What happens in some products, uh, for instance peanuts, if you store them under a normal atmospheric air, they would uh, be more rancid over time. Uh, but if you do uh, pack them uh, with pure nitrogen, you would uh, don't have the, the change in the, in the taste. Now, I understand the European Union has uh, legislated quite hard on this, and what, what are the effects of this legislation? The uh, European Union uh, has, has put a legislation out that, that requires all gases that are used to be uh, 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 given a, an E number as an other additives, which means that actually also the, uh, the, the modified gas comes in as part of the whole traceability loop, which means that the manufacturers do have to, uh, to control the, uh, the, the modified atmosphere packaging. They have to set up an HACCP plan that includes monitoring the gas and if they have a problem with the gas to, to justify and make sure that it's correct right away. And what's, what's the market like for um, modified atmosphere packaging in, in Central and Eastern Europe? It's uh, definitely a growing market as we see it. It has been a premier market in, in Europe. Uh, and it's growing uh, in the last couple of years we've seen Poland and, and mm -hmm. a lot of countries in, in Eastern Europe coming up and having a lot more interest in it and also developing the whole market. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and how, uh, how much of the market uh, does it have in, for example in Western Europe or the, uh, as a percentage would you say, how, is it possible to make such an assessment? A percentage on, on the on market share? Yeah. Nah, that's, that's different, that's difficult yes. to say. But but if you look at uh, cheese packages, uh, mm -hmm. shredded cheese, uh, you look at pizza breads and so on, it's, it's in, 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 in Scandinavia and so on, it's more or less all the products that's packed with uh, modified atmosphere. Uh, oh. We see less and less vacuum packs as well. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome.